Hello, hello! Let me just post that I'm live real fast. How are we all doing today? I... Not feeling too hot. <laughs> what about you all? How are we doing? How are we doing? Pokemon dating sim? People are excited. What's up, Egg? Mango Madness? You're doing great? Hell yeah! White stuff? That... You are too excited, Sunny Gengar. <laughs> Acknowledge me? That would be poggers? Uh, no. Astro Gamer, what if I absolutely refuse to acknowledge you? Then what? <laughs> Best YouTube streamer? I don't know about that. Am I feeling better now? Absolutely not. <laughs> so it'll probably be a bit of a shorter stream today. But how about we hop right into it then? Don't want to keep you all for too long. <laughs> We're back with the Pokemon dating sim, y'all. If you are unfamiliar, it is exactly what it fucking sounds like. Last time, we got our new Pokemon, which is... Oh shit, it shows its stat. Wait, it has moves too? What the hell? What's up, Warden Llama? How you doing? It's been a minute. Oh my god, we have IVs in this? This game is so much more detailed than I thought it was. Are there actual battles in this? Uh, you know what? We don't need any tutorials, chat. I'm confident in our abilities. Remember, our goal, chat, is to just riz people up. Men, women, it doesn't matter. We just don't want to be lonely. <laughs> That's our goal. Hey, at least Leaf here is fl flirting with us. Your technique puts me in the mood for fast food. What does that even mean? Yeah, what's fast food in this context? Let's not, doesn't matter, let's go. Ooh, Chatter, are, are we, we're going on a date? Oh, wow, lots of people here. Look at them, I'm starting to feel a bit self-conscious. It is a bit crowded, but maybe we should try somewhere. What's up? Is that freaking Rosa? Rosa, the queen of Pokestar Studio. One of the most talented actresses ever. I mean, I didn't watch many movies back in Palatown, and most of what I watched was on... VHS? I'm sorry, are we establishing that... This current time period... Is in the same time as a VHS? What the hell? That's wild. That's the worst thing I've heard today. Uh, I prefer to, yeah, you know, saying Rosa who is like 18 is the most famous star in the world when like Diantha, Cynthia exists is kind of wild. Like, you know, Billie Eilish was a huge star at 18. I wouldn't call her the biggest star in the goddamn world. Uh, were the sprites in the custom game the only sprites made? Yeah, it was like 40 sprites. That cost me a pretty penny, y'all. <laughs> Even with that, see, I can tell the director's barely disguised fetish. Yeah. Like Quentin Tarantino and feet. Rosa! Hi! <laughs> You must be a fan! Uh, a, a little bit, yeah, um... 
you know, we, we gotta we gotta pretend to be fucking cool here, chat. I've seen all your interviews. You're amazing. Is it really true that you were filming Full Metal Cop? The international police visited the studio. They thought you were actually an infamous jewel thief. What? I'm like your biggest fan ever. Did I say that? Whatever. It's true. What are you doing here? Are you a guest speaker? Are you being hired to teach a class? Uh, no. I'm only 20. Oh, she's 20? Shit. What dorm do you live in? Can I see your... Uh, yeah, Leaf. You might want to calm down. Even I don't come on that strong. Holy shit. Nah, it's okay. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but today I'm just a student here, just like you. If I'm not in front of a green screen, there's no reason to treat me any differently. Oh, ew, you film in front of a green screen? <laughs> hey, Grey Radar, how you doing? Uh, don't worry about it. Well, miss, I don't think I got your name. Refresh me? Oh, I'm Leaf. <laughs> Le Leaf's my name. <laughs> and this is Moop. You can call him Moop. He's kind of like a... Don't say my name is silly. That's fucking mean. Damn. You know, it's an unspoken rule not to throw your friends under the bus, Leaf. I'll remember this. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Wow. Not in front of cute girls. You don't throw your homies under the bus in front of anyone who is cute. If they find someone cute, you gotta back them up. That's the rule, chat. Okay? We're clear on this. That means in front of cute people in this game, you all have to back me up, okay? We're clear. <laughs> hey, you guys seem like you get along well. You really think so? Yeah, just maybe lay off the brown nosing a little. Try to keep it under control. So, do you still want me to stay here? This place looks kind of packed. Uh, the name's Sten. Moop Sten. You see, Grey Rider, you got it. You got it. It's nighttime, y'all. We end up wandering around the campus for a while, talking about nothing in particular. Under the cover of idle chatter, night descends. Is it that time of day already? Oh shoot, we need to head back to the dorms before we get in trouble. You know, I was wondering, is it that big of a deal if we're caught outside after dark? Do it too often and the academy could suspend or expel you? Holy shit! I, I think the stream crashed for some people. Of course, my ninja skills are more than enough to beat up anyone who tries to do something, but you might want to just stay in the clear. You know, I am a delicate flower. I, I didn't mean to ramble so long about that. It was fun while it lasted, but we really should uh, go in. That's fine with me. Thanks for the tour and uh, tutorial on how to use maps. Good night. I mean, that's a basically a date, right? This place is like a ghost town once it gets to curfew. Oh, we, we have to introduce chat to Mimikyu. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Hey, guys. Oh, look at our little buddy. Hey, chat, did you miss me? I'd say he missed you. Ever since I got back, he hasn't stopped staring at the door. He's like a little robot. It's very endearing to watch, albeit a little unsettling. Anyways, how'd the day for you go overall? You know, all things considered, chat, it was all right. You know, we got a new Pokemon, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, new Pokemon, fantastic. I myself received a Fletchling. You know, Fletchling's not a bad Pokemon, but I'd be kind of disappointed if it was my only Pokemon, you know? That'd be disappointing. You see, Brendan gets a fucking Mudkip. That's a good Pokemon. If you have to have one Pokemon, Mudkip's a great choice. I have homeroom with Hilbert. He said he got a Cub Chew. That's another, like, D tier. Pretty sure he'll be beelining it to Bear Tick, though. What'd you get? I got Mimikyu, which is kind of crazy because I always wanted one when I was a kid. What? Ethan is biting our fucking shit. Not only does this man have a Pichu, he has the fucking nerve to bite our shit again and get a Mimikyu? 
No. No, that's too suspicious. Yeah, what a coincidence. He's following us to all of our classes. He has the same Pokemon as us. He is going to steal our fucking life. The odds of that are quite low. A little suspiciously low. But a lot of people uh, say change isn't always a good thing, so perhaps I should count my blessings. Man, I just know these classes are going to kill me. I've never felt so much academic pressure in my life. It's really... If you're feeling academic pressure on the first day, that's kind of on you. This is like just orientation, right? I basically feel, well, like nothing's actually started yet. I mean, the classes haven't had any tests, we haven't had any battles, we haven't had to catch any new Pokemon. When will the school year actually start, you know? I mean, I get that. You want to hit the ground running, you know? We're just still in the tutorial. Wow! Way to be a bit on point about that, huh? Chat, we, we purposely did not choose the Gardevoir, okay? We didn't. Eventually, the conversation wraps back around to your new Pokemon and... Come on out, Mimikyu! Oh, now that I think about it, should I give you a nickname? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, I think not chat would suit you just fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Not chat. Welcome to the team, not chat. Chat, remember, you're always number one. I'm never gonna replace you all. Oh, look, she likes you already. It's not too often you find a Pokemon that gets chummy with this trainer so soon after meeting them. Really? I never notice. Not Chat's act. <laughs> not Chat is actually basically the same as Chat did all those years ago. What's up, Ryan? Uh, really? Maybe my Pokemon just trust me. <laughs> she's a baby Pokemon. She can't cause that much damage. More to the point, though, she's not causing any damage. Hold on. You guys are acting like you expected Moob's buddy to just go berserk as soon as you let her out. Were you not? She's a baby Pokemon, and as you said, she hasn't received any training at all. She's just patient. Calum, you're pulling our leg, right? That's literally just how Pokemon are. I assure you, the numerous baby starter Pokemon Professor Sycamore foisted on me during my internship would beg to disagree. Man, I don't know what to think. Every Pokemon I've ever had took weeks to feel comfortable around me. I thought that was normal, but with you two saying the opposite, maybe I'm just bad at training Pokemon. You probably- <laughs> Fuck, Bre you know, Hilbert, we gotta at least be a bit nice about it. Hilbert, let me finish. Whether anyone here is good or bad at Pokemon, Ethan and Moop's experiences are not typical. If we were to let our new Pokemon out right now, this room would become a disaster. So you are not one of the odd ones out here, Brendan. No. Oh. Well, that was surprisingly nice. Maybe we can ask Professor Oak about it. I wanted to ask him some questions earlier anyways. Actually, Ethan, which homeroom do you have? Given we got the same starter and electives, I'm really surprised we don't share the same homeroom. Uh, yeah, I'm with... Cr I mean, prof Professor Cherry? Am I... Do I just have sick brain? Or is that not a real Pokemon character? I don't remember that name on the faculty page. Oh, she, oh, she! Oh, well, now I'm interested. Uh, well, she's a lot. Anyways, I'll see if I can get to homeroom early tomorrow and ask uh, Professor Oak about why our Pokemon are weird. Uh, sounds like a plan. I'm gonna turn in night, y'all. You two ready for bed? Oh, we got chat and not chat. As you crawl into bed, you don't even have time to realize just how exhausted you are. Not even a minute after your head hits the pillow, you fall into a deep sleep. Fuck yeah. Don't kill not chat! Chat, be nice! Be nice to them! You guys are their older sibling. You are no longer an only child chat. You must behave. Be friends. I'm off, chat. Can we not take chat with us? Why not? Ah, homeroom. 
Fortunately, despite your efforts to engage Professor Oak in conversation, he adamantly refuses to answer any questions, saying he'll answer them later? What a shitty teacher! Having failed in your quest, you hope Ethan was more successful. How's everyone doing today? I hope you all had a good night's sleep, because we'll be covering a lot of material today. This will be on the test, so pay close attention. Professor, you haven't explained how tests work yet. Oh, I mean, I, I just sort of assumed they were written tests. Uh, you are responsible for passing both the midterms and finals in your homeroom classes. That... You, you say that like it's supposed to surprise us. On top of those things, here at homeroom, you'll also be given quizzes every Monday and Thursday. Oh, thank God. For the end of the day. Not only will some of the questions be present on future exams, but getting them right can help you outside of school. Take my word for it, I would pay attention to these lectures if I were you. You'll thank me sooner than you'd think. When old man Oak says stuff like that, you know he's being serious. I should probably follow his advice. Hasn't let me down before. Okay, practice quiz now. Oh shit, oh, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. This is a Pokemon battle. I'm assuming we're on the left side. Rattata, we're twice the level, just tackle. Easy. Hustle activate. No problem, chat. I'm the greatest fucking Pokemon trainer in the world. Yeah, it was easy. The answer was tackle twice. At a glance, everyone did well. I would hope so. How do you fail that? You expect harder questions than the last one starting now. Also, you'll have quizzes for each of your elective classes. Motherfucker! The first woke world didn't appear until the discovery of April. Fortunately, class finishes before you can talk to Oak privately. Ooh, elective time. I mean, chat, are we good to go rock again? I feel pretty confident in going to rock again. I'm just saying, like, looking at the people at the rock elective... Sounds pretty good. Here, what's the other one? Did we go to poison as well? What else did we go to? We went to water and... Water's pretty good! Hmm... We could mix it up a bit. I would not be opposed to that. We could go psychic. You know, we do have a ghost fairy type as our Pokemon. So going to ghost or fairy makes sense to me. Okay, okay. We're putting it up to a vote. Start the poll. Uh, rock. Ghost. Fairy. Water. What's it gonna be, chat? What's it gonna fucking be? Ooh, people are feeling ghost. Interesting. You know, I do want to get closer to Hilbert. Of all the guys so far, Hilbert's the one I'm most interested in. Fuck yeah, let's go. Call me Danny Phantom, because we're going ghost. You choose ghost? Yes, sir. You spot an unfamiliar student, go greet her. Uh -huh. Hey there. H Hi, hello. You want to know who I am? Y yes. Yeah. Sabrina. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sabrina. You have what you want. You may go now. All right. See ya. Oh, I dropped my pencil. Do you have an aber? You're, you're doing this, aren't you? Holy shit. You know, if you actively have psychic powers, do you think that makes Pokemon less cool to have? 
Hey, what's up, Claus? You dropped this. Oh, that's, uh, that's my pencil. Yeah. I'm more surprised that you have psychic powers, but, you know, this is interesting as well. You want it back? Take it. Yeah. Sorry. How are you able to do that? You don't want to know. I really do, actually. You're trying to figure out how to shift the conversation to you telling me your name. Unnecessarily. It's Moop Sten. You reading my mind? Yep. Kind of feels like that's a violation of uh, my privacy. Figured out a way to make me stop and I will. Oh, so you can't stop. So I really need to be careful what I think about her. Shit, forgive me for doing this. Are you expecting me to... Chat! Clean thoughts! Clean thoughts right now! Everyone think of, like, waterfalls, the ocean, the beach, swimsuits... Fuck! I can't help it. What is it? It's like every 13 seconds, right? You, want, you understand people more than anyone else. I wish I could stop. I wish you would stop too. Don't you dare. What? You can't help me. No one can. I feel like... Okay, no, no, Sabrina. You know what I'm thinking. My theory, if you hit someone in the head with a bat hard enough, no more psychic powers. Allow me to make a correction. Stay away from me. That's how you can help. She doesn't like the baseball bat idea. And you know what? Understandable. Of course, a future champion isn't giving up that easily. Is Ethan stalking us? What's the deal? Yeah, come and sit here, I guess. Sure. Take the time to stretch your arms. Doing so, you inadvertently knock over a... Holy shit, what a dive. She, you were sitting two rows behind us and you went for it? I'm serious. Your reaction time is insane. I barely reacted myself. You're training for the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yeah, I'm training Pokemon, not myself. This really isn't all that impressive. Oh. I'm just messing with you. It's okay if your reflexes are a bit slow. Plenty of other things to worry about in the big leagues anyways. Um... You didn't have to go and say that. Oh, my name's Gardenia. What's yours? I'm um, Moop. Nice meeting you, Moop. Hey, if you ever want to buff up your skills, find me outside of class. I used to teach a gym back in Eterna City. A Pokemon gym? Huh? No, just a regular gym. I mean, I'm only 18. How'd I get a job at a gym, you know? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, it looks like the teacher is here. Catch you later. Okay, uh, bye. Gardenia nimbly goes back, or more like jumps back into her seat. Dude, Gardenia actually asked you to find her outside of class. That's an in, dude. Not only is it in, she's practically lighting up the path. She's waving those light up things they use at airports, dude. This is it. Man, I've got tons of people asking to hang out after class. Oh, oh shit, it's Hilbert. It's okay, let's sit. No, be friendly. Hilbert's just socially awkward. Oh shit, Fantina's the teacher. Hey, she sounds like Callum. Oh, the lovely boy from the home country, I'm in the hall. We, oui, you are much astute. I am Fantina, your teacher for the ghost class. I'm also new to country, so I hope to improve knowledge of local language in this class as you improve knowledge of ghosts. I came to country because I have heard about its Pokemon and unique contests. And much to my delight, they were unlike anything I've ever seen. It's quite amazing how many things you've not experienced and might never experience in the world. Sis la vie! But you're still so young, you must not you must not yet realize how big the world truly is. Ethan, you have been attached to our hip since we fucking got here. I need some space, my friend. But the fragility of humanity is quite interesting. Nesipa She's British? Bro, that's not English. I think you're tripping. We Jahan. I've read that humans can become ghost types in death. Dude, that's the first thing you say in class? Jesus Christ. Isn't the end? Is that true or just another fairy tale? 
Ghost types can be humans? Ah, oh, that makes them even creepier. Trace Bien. It's, it's widely accepted among many ghost experts and scientists that human spirits are linked to the birth of some Pokemon, like your mask and your floon. Dude, how fucked is it if, like, your grandma dies and then you catch them as a Pokemon? Like, that's weird, right? This supports the theory that they retain memories of themselves when they were still human. I've seen many cases where Yamask even possessed the body of a human to live their lives as a human again? WHAT?! There's an opposing view, though. Some scientists believe that ghosts are not reincarnated humans, but how do you say... Effects. The death of a being causes another being to come to life. A being with traits of old, but not the old, if you will. You know, that makes sense. Once someone's gone, they're gone. Now, I am much appreciating the class participation. Let's move on to the main body of lecture. Continuing with our lecture, I require a volunteer to become a human spirit for the class. Oh, a, a joke! Genuinely concerned for my life there for a second. What's this? Look at the time. Au revoir. See ya. Uh, chat. I know there are cute girls in this class. I don't think we ever come here again. What a fucked up class. Uh, gym class again. Well, it really doesn't matter if you are. You're gonna have one whether you like it or not. That's the school pays us. Okay, battle time, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready to fight that. I'm not ready to fight Volcarona. Whoa, so cool. Look at the wings. They're like the prettiest things I've ever seen. Volcarona is a fire Pokemon. Let's be real. Settle down. I'm only using her as a demonstration. Bruno, bring out the dummy. You have a fucking rubber geo dude. It's perfect. A balloon bot, are we super training? Oh, not super training! That shit was lame as hell! Oh, we're gonna witness a battle. Chat, let's watch how the pros do it. Uh Bug Buzz. Hurricane. And it's confused. Flamethrower. Chat, I don't want to brag or anything. I might be the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world. Ah, uh, yeah, are you serious about that, Dildog? You want to join the little battle team, bitch boy? It's obviously the perfect stepping stone for me in becoming the world champion. So that's your goal, world champion. Sorry, there's a whole lot of you in this class that I haven't memorized everyone's names yet. You are Blue. Sorry, he didn't include his last name, but it could have at least triggered some response from Alder or Bruno. You in the red hat. Oh shit. Uh, me? Oh yeah. Uh, my name's Moop. Uh, Moop Sten. Moop. Oh shit! It's rival battle time, baby. Okay, chat. I'm gonna level with you right now. I am 100% gonna save scum this. I need to be in a universe where we win this battle. I hate him so much. I need to win. I need it, chat. What, what does he- Do we only- Okay, okay. We can't use Astonish. We should have more physical attack than him. Yo, we're, we're a ghost type though! He can't attack us! You fucking idiot! Ah, <laughs> oh, we're the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world! We're the greatest- Dude, get ghost typed. Get fucking ghost typed, baby! No way, I was careless! Hey, great job, not chat. That felt good. That felt good, chat. Oh, how cathartic was that?
Once again, thank you, Blue and Moop, for showing us a fine Pokemon battle. Pokemon certainly looked like they were enjoying themselves. Remember to always keep this in mind. Pokemon battles aren't just about winning. What matters most is how you and your Pokemon work together as a team. Do not hurt not chat. Everyone, hearts in chat right now for your little sibling. I think they said it was a girl, so hearts in chat for your little sister. Your very shy little sister who just wants to be like you. Be nice. Dude, I'm beat. Maybe it's the added pressure of having the whole class watch me during my battle, but I feel like I'm way more tired than I should be. I mean, I'm not even doing any of the real battling, not Chad is, so why am I so worn out? Hey, Moop, what the hell was that? Uh, Hilda? Yeah, hi, whatever. What the hell was that? You're gonna have to be more specific. Yeah, is something wrong? Um, Hilda is, you know... Chat, do you not like your little sister? I didn't betray you! Chat! Chat, 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 you must understand. Chat. Hey. Chat, you, you know, I would never hurt you like that, right? Now, you may think I'm showing bias towards not chat, or even a little bit of favoritism, but I assure you, that's not it. The reason not chat is with us, and you're not, is because I can trust you to be on your own. Not chat's new, they're a baby, they don't know the ins and outs of this school. I can't trust them to be by themselves. I have to walk through, but if I if it comes down to it, if I have to choose, I'm choosing my chat. I'm never gonna choose my not chat, okay? Are we, are we clear on that? I'm gonna have to get other Pokemon, y'all. It's gonna happen. Don't pretend you have no idea what just happened. I don't know what just happened. Talk like about how Notchat just did exactly what you told her to. Huh? Friend told me you let your Pokemon out in the dorm and it was completely still. You know, it sounds like you all just suck at training Pokemon. Can't train them to be that obedient. You just can't train them like that. I must say, I noticed your Pokemon's peculiar behavior too. I was hoping to inquire as how you managed to do that. Yeah, it was so weird. If I didn't know any better, I think you've been training that Pokemon for months. What's up, Gardenia? Uh, inoffensive charisma. Oh, we're so fucking popular. I'll take his place. You need to answer a couple questions. What's up with the crowd? Y'all, I can't help it if I'm just so good at training Pokemon and you all just suck. <laughs> Perhaps you're subconsciously applying some strategy that we haven't yet discovered. That's bullshit and I do not believe you. I think Old Man Oak may be the only one who can answer my question. We just have Riz, okay? Oh shit, what's up, Ethan? Since we've got the same Pokemon, I can figure out how to battle better while watching you. Hell yeah. What, like I'm some sort of crash test dummy? Well, not a crash test dummy, but something like that, yeah. What the fuck is going on? We're trying to date, but we're too good at Pokemon battling. You know, as much as I... You know, just as much as I do, that Dildong's Eevee wasn't listening to a single word he said. That's cause Dildong fucking sucks! <laughs> just a conversation in the dorm last night and a few things Professor Cherry said. You also get in the vibe that people think training Pokemon is a lot harder than it's felt? Exactly! I think they just fucking suck at it. So many pretty girls around me and they're waking up the rocket. Keep up. Bruno Mars. Everyone bonk Crow right now, please. Okay. Elective 2. We're going rock this time. 
I mean, Nessa Bay Hilda. Need I say less? Need I say less, chat? You chose rock? Yes, sir. He's following us, right? That's weird. Bro. <laughs> What's up, uh, Instructor Olivia? <laughs> How you doing? Hey! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what a... What a coincidence! Did you anything fun since your last class? Oh, it's just I always have so much more fun when you're here. Don't tell me that just depressed me further. Okay. Oh, no more unique dialogue. I, I guess I, I guess that's that, that that that's cool. I I I guess. You're delayed on your way to class by more people who saw your battle with Dildong. Dude. It, Training Pokemon isn't that hard. You put it in a ball and it listens to everything you say. <laughs> What's up? Oh, am I doing anything after class? No, not really. You wanna go somewhere together? Was I that obvious? You know, I'm not third wheeling May and don't ever mention their fucking names to me again. It's up to you to entertain me. You know, we could always find some physical activities to do. Where do you wanna go, the gym again? You might see Rosa. Why don't you decide? It's only fair since I chose last time. Ooh, where are we heading? Where are we hanging out? Just remember, you have s you're you're rain checking. You came up to us and asked to hang out. I've never been more offended. That was cool. To s oh, Hilda! Um, like. Do you have any plans after school? Uh, what else? Hilbert wa Wrangling? This is you know, you could always just come to see us. This is his classroom. I mean, yeah, I guess. Planning on skipping out on our training regimen again? I was planning on it, yes. Well, you're not. You know what happens when you take too long to exercise. What's this about a regimen? Where to begin? Hilbert's got this dream that he obsesses over, and because he's so obsessed, he forgets to eat or sleep or drink or exercise, which is why Hilbert will fall asleep in the middle of a conversation he's bored of. He's got the stamina of a cleffa. Maybe I just fell asleep in the middle of a boring conversation because they're boring? You know, you're a good friend. Valid, though. No, but I am a good mother for whatever that's... You're a hot mom. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I prefer the direct approach, chat. Oh, oh, baby! That's how you know, Chad. You you can learn a thing or two. You can learn a thing or two from me. I'm just saying. You see the opportunity. Sometimes you go for it. Funnily enough, you're the only hot mom I've met, or the, you're the only teen mom I've met. You better be heading to the goddamn recreation center, Hilbert. I am. Get off my case. So, uh, are you going to the recreation center too? I was planning on checking the place out if you want to sort of, you know, go together. Yes! Okay, chat. I'm gonna put up a poll. And we need to take this super seriously. Leaf, Hilda, or other. Hilbert and I will be over by the cords. Would you like to join us? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, d Moop, say yes! You're killing me here! No! We're fumbling the bag! I've never been more disappointed in a player character in my fucking life. Well, the pool this fancy, I figured there'd be students all over the place, but there's nobody in here. Though, I'm sure when club starts, the swim team's gonna take over. Oh! Hello, hello! Wait, I see Misty kneeling over by the side of the pool. It looks like she's inspecting the water by hand. Uh, checking the water temperature? Oh! You again? Are you trying to kill me? Don't scare me like that! Um, 
I was just asking you a question. It's not like I was sneaking up on you. I might have overreacted. Sorry for snapping at you like that. Chat. A new challenger approaches. I must change the poll. No worries, let's start over. So, what were you doing just now? I'm guessing you weren't about to take a dip in a very expensive cerulean outfit. No, I was checking if the pool is Pokemon safe. That's how you can tell if it's a good pool or not. Um, yeah, what makes a pool safe for Pokemon? Basically, if there's no harsh chemicals or cleaners, a lot of Pokemon keep their eyes open underwater, and some absorb water through the skin. Yada yada yada. But a whooper could fall seriously. S okay, yeah. We need to protect the whoopers. Jetonian whoopers could. Paldean whoopers could probably filter them just fine. Pretty knowledgeable. You have a lot of experience with water types? They're the most common type? I mean, yeah. No, it's. Oh, is someone else here? Is that motherfucking Brock? Were you eavesdropping on us? Who is that? Come closer! Were you sp Holy shit! That's 100% Brock, right? And by the way, you're not supposed to run by pools, chat. Stay safe. Nighttime. Aw, oh, what's up, chat? Hey, I'm back. It's my homies. Chat was waiting by the door for you again. I've never seen a Pokemon so eager. Oh, chat, you missed me. What can I say? I guess we're just really good friends, right, buddy? Just curious, Moop. Do you always talk to chat like that? Like what? It's like you figure he understands what you're saying. I've noticed it before with not chat too, but it seems to me like you actually understand each other. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't get everything, but there's a tone of voice, body language, facial expression. You get those from not chat too? Even though not chat has no facial expressions on their mask, I get it. Is it really that weird? I haven't met many Pokemon trainers before, so I've only assumed they were like me in chat. Maybe it's just Chad and I have been together since I was a kid. Don't think that's it. That would explain that wouldn't explain not chat, who you just got. And my Pokemon and I have a history too. You have Pokemon from home as well? Yeah, my Flabebe. She was a gift from my parents. But she's not much for companionship. She refuses to listen to me. Sounds like you've got fucking skill issues! Just become a good Pokemon trainer! Chat, if I get candy, you will be the first one I give it to, okay? How two vastly different creatures can understand and trust each other so implicitly. Truly a marvel of the world. That's me. It's getting late, so I'll be heading off to bed. Don't stay up too late, Brendan. Moop. They say staying up late is bad for your skin. But my skin's fucking flawless. Perfect, baby. Just got here very 